Sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Simnaya and thank you all so much for all the love and support you are showing me here with. So today we'll be talking about something very important and it's about something that uh, a sister actually, that video, I saw that video, I was like, I am definitely bringing this here because there was a time people always ask me or comment in my comment section like, why not talk about Libya slavery and all that Arab slavery and the rest of it. And now let me tell you also more, something, you see Arabs, they are worse than the white folks. I don't know how to explain this. I know white folks are like really like, you know, very bad, but Arabs are really very horrible people. I mean, the people that invade, uh, the invaders of North Africans, they really need to get out. And then she also made mention of what is going on in Libya, how people are being taken away, stolen, people are being put in cage, people are being sold out and all that. This, sincerely speaking, it is just so heartbreaking that till this very moment, Arabs never left. They are still around. The slave trade that is going on, especially that Libya, that Libya is like another war zone. And you all can see the video that the, 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 the white man or the Arab man actually made and tagged all the like, you know, horrible, horrible places that we're not all no, not nice to people that look like me. And it's quite unfortunate that Africa is almost, it's, I don't know if stopping all this is almost impossible, but I think our leaders really have to wake up and wake up for good. Let's get into this video. How fucking dare you, bro? This shit gets worse and worse. Why are they running from you with fear in their faces? Look at them, they're terrified. And you have Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya. Hashtag? Let's start with Algeria. African migrants report torture, slavery in Algeria. Dozens of Africans say they were sold for labor and trapped in slavery in Algeria. And peep the wording, African migrants, slavery in Algeria. So when y'all come to us and say that anybody born in Africa is African, here's your proof that it is not true. African means black, but let's keep going. Let's go to Tunisia. Racist attacks by mobs after the president's speech. A Cameroonian asylum seeker was poked in the chest, attacked by a group of six men who shouted racist insults at her. They said, go back home, you gang of blacks. We don't want you here. And read the rest of what happened to her. They give us all the physical work. They think that we blacks are stronger and the Tunisians are better paid. You know what the president's words were? He doesn't want the country to turn in just another African country that doesn't belong to the Arab and Islamic nations anymore. Let's continue. Libya. Look at this man's face. He is among 650,000 plus men and women who have crossed the Sahara over the past five years when this article was written trying to get to Europe. They marked his face as a slave after he ran away multiple times. That last time they put the scar and mark on his face. Look at it. Aren't y'all saying it's not right to turn your head away and that's privilege? Then look, look at this baby who has no idea what his future will bring. Libya. Over 100 Nigerian children kidnapped in Libya. The children were promised that they would be sent to Libya, but had no idea where they were being taken. They were being taken to cages. So how dare you? Knowing what your people are doing to black African children. That's why they're scared and running. Who knows if you'll kidnap them and put them in a fucking cage. And you're laughing. And this is everywhere. Every single Arab country 
if I can dog out white people and y'all have no problem, this is worse than what's happening to African Americans. I'm not downplaying it. I'm really not. But don't talk to me about past slavery when you don't give a damn about current slavery of our people that has been going on for thousands of years. This is sick. And I'm tired of y'all calling it xenophobia, bro. The of xenophobia is the fear or hatred of people from other countries. African people have every right to be xenophobic. Now what? So this is all I got from this video. And sincerely speaking, Africans, Africans really have a lot to go, a lot to do. They really have to do something about the Arab colonizer. You know, we don't talk about this so well. We don't talk about it often. We don't speak about it, what it's going on, but it is happening. And not until they wake up about what is going on, the problem in North Africa. We are probably, like I keep saying, we are not free, not until everyone is free right and uh it's time to really start fighting back of all these people and then if you look around and listen to the slavery going on in libya how kids are being taken stolen people are being put in cage and all that i think i really need to do a like you know uh a well detailed uh i mean cover up cover uh cover uh, a well detail of what it's going on right now in libya how libya are really like being used to in fact that place is actually a slavery ground i don't know how to explain it but it is not a very good experience for those that have experienced some certain things in libya where people are being sold where people are being stolen and he actually was screaming, man, the children, can't you see, like the children were frightened. A whole lot has really been happening. And it is just crazy how these people invade people's privacy and all that. And then start acting like they are the victims. People already knew what they are doing and what they have, maybe what they have done. You know, people have different ways of reacting to trauma and all that. And then he really had to take videos and all that of the kids being frightened. Maybe they probably haven't seen a pump colored person or whoever and all that. Or somebody like that and them and all that. And then you have to take the picture, the video and all that to put it to say, we do not want you people anymore coming over. All the horrible things, the Arab, the Arab slavery is worse. You know, it was actually, I think early early this year that i was making research about arab to find out that uh, the arab used mostly black people to build everything that they built out there in their country and with some other people of color okay there are also people of color but their 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 own level is just top notch high on another level not until we wake up, not Africans really have to be up and doing to stop all these people from coming into their spaces and invading their spaces also and doing some horrible things. I am really disgusted, you know, and it's so heartbreaking that things like this are happening and it is still happening. Interesting. This is all I have to say. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.